Okay, it's Wednesday and it's 4 p.m. It's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Before we get into this video, if you could leave a like on this episode, I'd greatly appreciate it. If we can go for like one and a half thousand likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. I really appreciate the support. Enjoy the episode. If you want to be featured in these episodes, I record them every Saturday and Tuesday and upload them every Wednesday and Sunday. To be in the video, all you have to do is send me a team or two pics of your team if you start with a different formation that you play in game. Send me your team. Uh, it has to be a HD screenshot from your console or Elgato. Uh, I don't accept phone screenshots or web app screenshots or footbin screenshots, mainly because phone screenshots and web app screenshots, typically the players are just too small on the, on the screen. If I personally can't always tell what players what, I don't see how someone with a mobile device can because um, I'm using 27 inch monitors. So like if I can't see it a lot of the time, then I don't know how mobile people can. Um, and footbin screenshots, I just don't believe in them. I think that a lot of people can fake their squad and just lie about their squad. I feel like if I started accepting footbin squads, everyone's going to rock up with a 15 million coin squad. So, and please just tell me a bit about your squad. How many coins have you got? Who's tradable? Who's untradable? Uh, and anything you feel like you need to tell me about the squad and we'll check it out. Uh, I had a comment on the last episode from someone calling me incredibly arrogant for feeling the need to tell people what to do with their squads. Um, this whole point of this series is for people to get inspiration for their squads. I don't feel like I am better than anyone. I don't feel like I should be telling anyone how to how to run their squads. Literally, this whole like this whole concept was just to feature some of you guys on the channel and help people with inspiration, um, each to their own, I guess. Uh, I, a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy it, and I'm very grateful that you guys seem to really enjoy it. I, I really enjoy making these episodes, uh, and we're not going to stop anytime soon. So, without further ado, I'm going to start with Alex Hunter's squad. He's got 50,000 coins to spend. Promes and the bench are untradeable. You play the second pick in game. So, this is how he starts. He starts in the 4-3-3-4. Nice team. Uh, a lot of color to the team. You know, you've got UCL cards, you've got red inform cards, you've got UEL cards, you've got a scary card there as well. Uh, you play a 4-5-1 in game. That's actually pretty interesting. Now, one thing I find very interesting here is that you're playing Dybala at center mid and Gary Medell at cam. I can't help but think that's a mistake and you're meant to switch them the other way around. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I would personally play Dybala as your right cam and Gary Medell as your center mid. Um, what else would I do with your squad? I, you've got Politano on the bench. I would look to possibly bring in Politano over Zaniolo. Uh, I don't think Zaniolo's got necessarily the pace. Now, one thing that is interesting about the 451, for those of you that haven't used it this year, wouldn't know. In game, it actually feels more like the two cams are wider than the two right mid and left mid. Uh, the right mid and left mid seem to play more inwards and the cams need to play more outwards. It's very strange how it works. I don't understand how or why it does that. Um, but that's what it feels like whenever I've used it in game. Uh, so I would personally use someone quicker because... You don't, I mean, you've got Dybala, he's got a decent amount of pace, uh, Promos is fast, but on that right side, you don't have the most pace in the world, you know, Florenzi's not that quick, um, on the left side as well, you know, Tagliafico's not that quick either, I think that you want a bit more pace on that right side though, to sort of amp up the, uh, the speed going down the wing, uh, that's sort of uh, what I would do with this squad straight away, uh, obviously switching Medellin and, and Dybala around and then getting uh, that Politano in your team, I'd also look to upgrade your right back, um, now you don't need any special link to your right wing or anything like that. So you can go with any, uh, city out right back here. Uh, I would potentially, now this is going to be a quite a bold decision. You could look towards that new UCL Quadrado. He only has 71 defending and his interceptions aren't great. Uh, if we actually have a look at the card now, he's cheap, uh, which is really cool. Um, now it's obviously just one option you can go with. Uh, he's only 30,000 coins. 71 defending is not amazing. In-game stats for defending are pretty abysmal. But it allows you to have a little bit more flair. You could go with uh, this Quadrado card and bring him up to cam and go with uh, Gary Medell at your right back spot. If we have a look at Gary Medell's screen card and have a look at his stats, he only has 70 pace, so he might be a bit slow for right back. But it's just an option there that you could go with. Uh, in my opinion, that could be a, a really cool option you go with. Uh, but it's if you want to sacrifice the pace or not. I think Quadrado could be a decent right back if you just play him more as someone that isn't going to be trying to tackle as much, but just mark players and, and sort of stay with players 
down the wing, things like that. Uh, obviously, you have another option in Malqui. Uh, Malqui is uh, one of my favorite cheap right backs this year, actually. Um, this guy played really well for me. I've, I used to use him a lot when I played the Allen Manalas Malqui uh, trio link in a 4 3 3 brackets three. So I think he could be a good option for you as well. Uh, obviously, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of places to look and a lot of things to work with. You could also uh, grind towards that Danilo that's in the uh, in the uh, season objective. So that's also another option. Uh, obviously, the world is your oyster when it comes to right backs here. Uh, there's, there's a lot of options. Um, it's weird because there's, there's a lot of options that are very similar. There's no top tier option this year, though. There's no like a bar tier FIFA 13. There's no like really OP right back from the from the city. Yeah, you could wait a little bit and wait till one pops up. You could go for Zanetti and Icon Sops if you got any tokens, if you can get towards that. Um, but yeah, that, that's sort of what I would do your team. Now, last week we started rating teams. If you want me to uh, keep a rating out of 10 for your squads, and please let me know. Out of 10, I give this squad a solid uh, 7.5. The Tara Martinez is fantastic up top. I think ZH is a great option. Um, based on what you've sent me, though, I don't think the ball is the centre mid here. I think that you need to play Medell centre mid. Uh, if you make the changes that I, I've suggested, I think it goes up to an eight. Uh, I think your back line, like your two centre backs are fantastic. Uh, Taglifico, you could go and get his team in the tournament as well. That is a free card. Uh, it's not that difficult as well. It's in our objectives right now, I believe. If it's still there, it might not be there uh, anymore. It might have gone out of uh, out of the objectives on Monday, but I think it's still there. Uh, and I'd go for that if it is still there as well. It's a free upgrade as well, so I'd sort of look towards that. But no, it's a, it's a solid team, really. I do like it. Uh, anyway, moving on, we're going to go with uh, Tyrell Batista's team. Uh, it's going to play a 4-4-1-1 in game. Any future upgrades? Love your vids. Been watching since foot 18. Let's go. Keep it, up. Keep it up. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that, Tyrell. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. What do you play in game? You play a 4-4-1-1 in game. So I'm guessing you play... Uh, Mane and Salah left wing and right wing. You play um, Morales up top and De Bruyne at a cam slash centre forward role, which would work pretty well. Now, the first thing I'm seeing straight away is that you're playing uh, both uh, Mane and Salah off cam. Now, is that De Bruyne untradeable? Uh, it, you don't mention whether it's untradeable or not. This is why I insist on really sort of hammering in please let me know who's tradable and untradable uh i know i still make some mistakes sometimes i see someone i don't see someone on the bench sorry and i say get this guy that guy um but what i would do with your team straight away i would sell your de bruyne and i would go for this card in your team uh if he's i think de bruyne's about six hundred and thirty thousand coins uh this card's gone up massively oh my word okay never mind this card used to be 600k i have no idea why he's risen so drastically in recent days uh in the last month he's risen 300k well i was gonna say go with this screen Firmino card you could go with regular Firmino. uh he's also a decent option he's not bad at all if you do have the coins to stretch towards the screen Firmino, i go with that if not i go with normal Firmino. the reason why i'm saying this is because you want the chemistry with your right wing and left wing surely you don't want them to play off chemistry in my opinion off cam players they're not the worst in the world but i do prefer on cam players i think they're a lot better uh, so I will personally go with probably Firmino. Now you could play something else. You could go, for example, with the storyline uh, Oxley Chamberlain uh, later on, and then use Oxley Chamberlain for free and save the 600k and invest that elsewhere. Uh, just a few different options you can go with, really. Just had to turn up the uh, the lighting a little bit because I feel like the face cam was a little bit too dark. Anyway, the next one's from Why Don't You Guess? Love the content. I play a four one two one two in game. This see, this is what I mean. Please send me in your actual teams in game as well. That'd be dope um and Mbappe and Ronaldo up front mad mad strike partnership that's incredible uh promos cam De Jong Matuidi center mid Guardiola CDM untradeables are Mbappe and Ren are Mbappe and Ronaldo Ramos Tagliafico Pep and Quadrado I have a 100,000 coin budget any improvements you have untradeable in form Ronaldo untradeable in form Mbappe are you kidding me are you kidding me oh my word okay well all right Let's make some improvements to this team straight away. The first thing I would do is I'd scrap this left side. Uh, and that's going to be pretty bold. I totally understand that's pretty bold. But I think that sometimes bold decisions are the best decisions. What I would do here is I would get rid of Promos and Tagliafico. Now, I think they are both untradeable, if I'm not wrong. Uh, or Promos is not. I don't think Promos is a lot. Promos is about 15k, I'd say. But Tagliafico is, of course, untradeable. I, I'd put Tagliafico on the bench for maybe Partey or... or uh, or uh, Bellarabi. I would then replace Tagliafico with Ferland Mendy. I forgot to rate the other team, by the way. I do apologize. I'm going to give this team a solid uh, 7 out of 10. I just don't I don't rate the plays off cam. Um, 
Anyway, so Furlan Mendy left back. Wow, Haber recommending Furlan Mendy. Big shock. You'll see why, okay? I would then move your Mbappe to left mid to get full chemistry on him. And up top, I would go with either Mertens, Lorenzo Insigne, whichever one you prefer. I would personally go with Mertens. You might prefer Lorenzo Insigne. Now, the reason why I go with them up top is because they're going to be a better cam, in my opinion, than Promes is. Uh, they're fast, great dribbling, good passing, good shooting, really OP this year. Uh, you're going to be playing everyone bar Ronaldo on chemistry then. Um, obviously, it was just Mbappe on chemistry beforehand, but, uh, but you know, you add another player on chemistry. You've got a better left back, in my opinion, not defensively, but going forward, uh, four-star skills, five-star weak foot, pace, things like that. Um, and it allows you then as well to eventually bring in, for example, uh, a Raphael Varane maybe or, or, or a long lay as well. Long lay could be a good shout. Um, but that's what I would do with your team. I think that having the French link down the left, uh, having, you know, a, a seriously good uh, center forward up top that can play as a cam would be a great shout. Alternatively, you could go with any sort of French center forward. You could go with an Antoine Griezmann, a, a Benzema. Uh, someone of, of that nature of that caliber you could also go with them up top as well that you know that wouldn't uh, be the worst decision in the world it gives you a lot more freedom in my opinion um, for the squad but that's what I'd do with your squad if I was to rate this already I'm gonna have to give you an 8 out of 10 for the two unbelievable informed pools this is where all the informed pack look went this is why none of you including myself this is why none of us got good uh, informs from the team of the week SBC because this guy this guy got them all not fair <laughs> Uh, GG, man. That is incredible. Okay, so next one's from Owen. This is where my team... Uh, this is my team when my old one sells. Benzema is untradeable. Any improvement? Keep up the good work. 40 for one in game. Sorry, no screenshot. You're all good, man. Uh, I would appreciate it, but if you can't, then you can't. You know, I'm not going to not going to be uh, disappointed if you can't. Now, what would I do with this team? Uh, first things first, I would personally swap uh, Lacazette and Benzema. That allows you to have Lacazette on chemistry and Benzema on chemistry. Can you stretch towards getting the new UCL Toliso? He's about 55 to 60k last time I checked. Might be a little bit more now. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure he's around that margin. Uh, alternatively, could, you could uh, get a lesser goalkeeper, maybe like a, an Areola. That would give you the coins to get the better Toliso. Um, I think that Toliso's normal card is not good enough. And I think you've got to upgrade that to a better version of him. Uh, and aside from that, I'd probably keep it the way it is for now. Um, you know, upgrades a lot in, in the near slash distant future. The likes of Varane straight away comes to mind. Um, you know, the likes of, of an upgraded Goretzka. Um, I do like Roussillon this year as well. Alaba, I feel like he's also a good shout. So I'm not going to say replace Alaba with Roussillon, but it could be a decent shout. Um, but yeah, no, I think this team is actually looking pretty solid already. So it's a decent team. I'm going to give it a solid seven because it is a good team for the price. I think you've got some really good players there. I like that you've got, you know, Us Usman Dembele. I know how to say it right this time. Okay, stop getting angry at me. Um, I like the back line as well. The back line is solid. I like the you're incorporating players like Benzema. Not a whole lot of people use players like Benzema, but I feel like they're good players. So I respect when people do try and fit them in the squad. Anyway, the next one is from Keegan. All players are tradable apart from Marquinhos. I have 10,000 coins left and I need uh, help to solidify a quick attack. Okay. With 10,000 coins, bro, there's not a lot of upgrades you can make. It's just, that, that that's a problem. I feel like what I would do if I were you and a lot of you guys, before sending me in your teams with a budget of like five to 10,000 coins, I would just grind because I'm mean, you're going to get the exact same answer every time. Grind rivals, grind champs, grind draft, grind, grind anything you can. If you can follow a trader on Twitch and, and, and start trading, I'd do that. I would I would try and follow along and just try and make some coins beforehand. You want to be coming with a squad like this into it with like a 50, 100k budget to improve on. Um, and it's not difficult to make them kind of coins this year. Now, what would I do straight away? Uh, sell to Stegen. I know he's a fantastic goalie, but you want to get a goalkeeper on chemistry. I would bring in uh, Edison. Edison's a good Brazilian goalkeeper. I would sell uh, Marcelo and I'd bring in... Uh I wouldn't bring in Alexandro. I'd start with Dalbert to get the chemistry. Alexandro is about 40k still. He's, he's expensive. Uh, so what I would do is I'd bring in Dalbert first of all. Uh, not the SBC version, just the normal version because he's, he's cheap. He's good. He's quite overpowered. Um, and he's going to help you uh, sort of get full chemistry. And uh, he's going to be a good option before you can afford um, the likes of uh, Alexandro. Now, he's saying you want help solidifying a quick attack. 
Aspas, I don't think is the option for you then. Aspas, I don't think is quick enough. If I were you, I would look for a quicker option there. Now, there isn't a whole lot of Spanish options here that are going to actually get you full chemistry. You've missed out on player the player moments Morales now, I think. Uh, I don't think that card's there anymore. Now, you could go with normal Morales. Uh, this normal Morales card actually is surprisingly very good. I see a lot of people raving about this card as well. I, he looks very good. He's fast. Uh, he's got decent stats. He's got the right stats in the right places um you're gonna struggle to get someone on chemistry though that is one struggle you're gonna have straight away so if i were you i would look probably towards maybe uh, uh just a normal morales gets everyone bar morales on chemistry there uh and it allows you to save towards getting a better option the best option i think you're gonna have here is going with a cheap icon um now he's not the paciest but this card is fantastic at cam and center mid uh, and i know a lot of people uh, don't even look towards this card ever but this card is a very very good option for 185k this card is fantastic cam slash center mid four star four star great stats in the right positions um he's got a very good shooting he's got great dribbling got good pace uh good passing and i think that is a fantastic option to look towards bring into the squad eventually um but i think that's you know in the distant future and then once you bring him into the squad you can get a different left back that isn't dalbert slash alexandro uh, and it will free up some coins for you there too so if i was to rate the team i'm going to give it a solid five out of ten uh i think that you know yourself that you know ten thousand coins coming into this you're not going to have enough coins to sort of improve this squad realistically. You're going to have to shuffle a lot around. I think that, you know, you come into this squad with like 60, 70K, you can make some solid improvements on the spot and move forward. Uh, but that's sort of where I go with this squad. Uh, I don't think it's a bad squad. You've got great foundations, but you need to move forward with it uh, definitely. And uh, hopefully with my advice, you can put uh, pick the right players up, I guess. Um, Next one coming from Max, Matuidi, Barella, Benzema, Nesta, and Politano are all untradeable, as well as the bench, and I have 200,000 coins. Okay, so, so just to double check, so it's Matuidi, Barella, Benzema, Nesta, and Politano. Okay, so um, Barella, Matuidi are both untradeable. Okay, so let's have a look what you're playing game. You play a 4-4-1-1. A lot of people seem to be really enjoying this formation. Let me know if you use it down below, how you use it, what your play style is like. I did definitely struggled using this formation. Uh, I wasn't great with it when I tried it. So any advice would be greatly appreciated. Now, what would I do with this squad straight away? Um, I wouldn't go with Florenzi. Now, uh, I feel like I need to talk you through whilst looking at Florenzi's card. For me, Florenzi isn't the best option. Now, he's got okay pace and four star skills is not the worst and you know he's definitely not going to be a downgrade you know going with going with malqui or someone like that you're not upgrading massively if you do enjoy florenzi use him uh personally for me i just don't think he's strong enough and i don't think he's got the best defensive stats i don't think he's tall enough either i just think that he's a little bit too small and i feel like if you're that size you need to have like 90 pace and he just doesn't have it unfortunately he's got decent acceleration but when you're sprinting down the wing for you know 25 35 45 yards he's gonna lose the pace battle ultimately most of the time and you don't want that from a fullback or a wing back should i say actually um now what would i do with this squad straight away not a whole lot surprisingly actually uh i actually like this squad a lot now i'd replace marcelo with you guessed it Ferland mendy um i would also look to bring in either longley or uh varan uh, now, how much is Varane going for now? I'm guessing his price would have gone down quite a bit as well recently, as a lot of players have. He's still at 200k. That's fair enough. And what's Longley at at the minute? Uh, Clement Longley's at 66. I would probably bring in Longley there. Um, that'll allow you as well bring in uh, to Stegen. And I think that with 200k, they're the solid improvements I'd make. Um, and of course, if you're enjoying Florenzi, keep him. If not, I would look towards maybe a Malqui. Someone like that would be a pretty cool option or a Quadrado. Um, but the next one is going to be from, uh, that's a weird screenshot. I don't know why that's got all the bars around it. Um, next one going to be from F5R, who says, the second is what I play in game. Uh, untradables are Costa, SBC players, Politano and Delict. I have 500,000 coins and I'm thinking of saving for KDB 93 card for Costa. What should I do? Love the vids, keep with the good work. Okay, so you've, you've actually got an untradable Costa here, uh, but you want to replace him with KDB. I don't rate that decision. I don't. I think that I don't think that's a good decision at all. I think that Costa card is going to be very good for months to come. Yet, um, I don't think that he's worth uh, trying to upgrade KD because he's not an upgrade. I don't think KD. I think it's probably just probably on a, a similar level. Um, what I would say with this team straight away is I really did not like Sterling at all when I used him. I was very disappointed. Now you got 500k already, and Sterling I think is about 200 ish k. 
if I wasn't mist if I'm not mistaken, 224k. The card I would look for straight away. This is going to be a massive improvement to your squad, in my opinion. I will probably look towards getting, um, yeah, it's going to be either the Inform or the UCL version. Probably going to be the Inform, I, but I'll go with Hyungmin Son. I think that'd be a massive improvement to your squad. Uh, Hyungmin Son is phenomenal, and I'd actually play Hyungmin Son at striker and Harry Kane at cam. Uh, Harry Kane, I played against him at the weekend league, and he tore me apart. He really tore me apart. He was ridiculous. But I think he'd be better at Cam and Hyung Min Son better at striker because Hyung Min Son's just ridiculous in this game. Very fast, great dribbling, very strong, great left and right foot. Uh, and I think that Harry Kane being behind for the finesse shots and the long shots, I think is going to benefit you a little bit more. That's the only upgrade I'd make to your team currently. I think that your team is a solid, uh, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. I think you've got a really, really good foundation squad here. And I think it's solid. Uh, obviously, Delict's off chem. There isn't really anyone there you can bring in that's going to that's gonna get full chemistry here. Unless you get like a Chiellini, which is a downgrade to Delict in my opinion. So I'm not going to say touch Delict for a little while. That came out wrong, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but no, I'd say that this team is a solid 9 out of 10. It's fantastic. And I'm trying to remember, did I rate the other team? Did I actually give it a rating out of 10? I don't think I gave this team a rating out of 10. I'm still forgetting because I'm, I'm new to rating teams out of 10. But I'd give this team a solid 8 out of 10. I think you've got good foundations to it as well. Uh, I actually have that Barella card as well. I might give him a go at some point too. Uh, and the last team for this episode is going to be from Ben Walsh. who says, hi, Haber, can you please improve my squad? Uh, Trossard, Aubameyang, Salah, Guardiola and Rodri and Adama and Schmeichel are untradeable. I don't know, you didn't say and at all, but I put the ands in there for some reason. And actually... Uh, I actually made the grammar poorer than what it was. Um, uh, anyway, uh, our untradeable uh, got around 70,000 coins to spend, but I'm happy to save the plays in the long term. Hope you had a good time in America. Keep the good content. Yeah, I appreciate it, Ben. Thank you very much. So this is how he starts. And then in game, we are looking something like that. So I think you've got really good setup here, actually. Not sure about Rodri, though. Rodri is where I think that you're probably lacking a bit. Now, obviously, the only problem being is Adama Traore not getting the chemistry. Now, that actually sucks. So, what would I do with this team? You've got 70,000 coins to improve. Uh, it's a tough one. I think you've got you to stick it out with Rodri for now. Uh, obviously, the chemistry to Adama, I think, is quite important. Now, alternatively, what you could do is, I think Umtiti is tradable, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, how much can you get from Titi these days? How much is he selling for? Um, TD, how much are you selling for, dude? 29k. So you're gonna be on about 100k now. How much is this Sergio uh, Ramos card? Is he is he still a lot? 109k. Now, what you could do here. Now, this is gonna be a bit, a bit of a stretch, but you could do it. You could sell them titty. You could add to the 70,000 coins you've already got. That gives you about 100k, and the 9,000 coins away from getting Sergio Ramos. Once you've got Sergio Ramos, you can swap Longley and Ramos around. So Longley's on the left, Ramos is on the right, still giving you full chemistry because he gets a Spanish link with Adama Traore. Uh, and once you've got that, you could then look to upgrade your Rodri to a different Premier League centre mid. You could go with, for example, UEL, uh, uh, what's his name? Torreira. UEL uh, Lucas Torreira. You could go with uh, Fabinho. Um, obviously, these are upgrades down the line. You won't be able to afford them straight away. Or you could go with someone like an N'Golo Kante because he gets the French link with Griezmann. I think that that is definitely, uh, they're definitely optional upgrades you can make there. Um, and it wouldn't be too hard to make the extra 9,000 coins for Sergio Ramos. So that's what I would do with your squad currently. Um, aside from that, I actually really like this squad. I'm going to give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Now, the reason why I really like this squad, Aubameyang, in my opinion, is great. Trossard looks like a really good cam. Uh, I do like Salah this year as well. He's got a rocket of a left foot. He's got a really, really good finesse shot. Uh, his weak foot lets him down a bit. I think his strength lets him down a bit. Sometimes he just, for some reason, he, he's one of those players that has those games where he's just absolutely terrible. Don't know about Schmeichel. Guardiola is solid. Don't know about Schmeichel, though. Uh, you know, Tostegan could be a good option down in the future as well when you've got the coins. Uh, but that's just a luxury upgrade, I feel like, uh, eventually. You know, that's something you don't do for a while yet. Um, and I really like Longley. I think Longley is fantastic. Ferland Mendy is great. That Adama Troyer, despite having 40 defending, for some reason is broken. And he's really good at right back. So he's solid as well. But no, I think this team is uh, very, very nice. And I think that you've got really, really good squad here. And that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. If we can hit... One and a half thousand likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'd really appreciate that. And I'm I, I'm so grateful you guys still watch these episodes. I really am. Uh, so thank you all for watching these, with these episodes and liking and supporting and things like that. You guys are dope. Um, I'm sure you guys don't realize how much you mean to me because I probably don't express it well enough, but you really do mean a lot to me. Uh, and I'm very grateful. So thank you all for that. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.